hello welcome back to my channel thank you so much my subscribers this is unique for me yeah and um, if you're visiting this channel for the first time please press the subscribe and um, join the family thank you so much yeah it's just um, I have another quick one tonight um, today is Sunday and um, there's this thing that has been you know on my heart to share um, for some days now um, you know it's just been on my heart to share I don't know who this is going to be for anyways um, you know I was studying this um, um, book uh, this chapter in the Bible um, is the story I know a lot of us have heard about the story of the woman with the alabaster oil that oil that oil from the spike nut and it was supposed to be an expensive um, oil and um, you know there's this uh, this um, lesson that has been on my mind about it you see this woman if we study that story it's in the book of mark chapter 14 from verse 3 to 9 if we study that story very well we'll see that you see that woman was focused on what she was doing it's a story of, of, um, of a woman and the bible when before jesus christ died and um, before he was betrayed by judas judas is carried we note that judas was one of his disciples and um during the uh, Passover feast, he decided to have um, a dinner in the house of Simon the leper and um, it was surrounded by his own people. And then this woman came. The woman was not named. I, I don't think her name is there is in the Bible, but if it is, I can't remember right now, but I don't think it's there. Um, it's not in that chapter. It might be in other places. But the woman came with this very expensive oil anoint him and people around him it stated in the bible that people around jesus rebuked her sharply you know sharply means it was like what why, what's that for you know like what's that for why are you wasting it don't you know they are poor people that's what they were saying that shouldn't this uh this oil that she's wasting now well what does she think she is is she um what does she think she's doing why couldn't she have sold it it would have been better to be sold and given to the poor you know this money will be more useful to the poor why is she wasting money and all that and da 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 anyway but you know if you look at that um um lesson very well we see that the woman did not answer them she was focused she kept doing her own thing what she what she wanted to do was what she focused on doing and there are two things I want us to note here. The people around Jesus Christ, you would expect that these are the people that know the teaching because they've been around Jesus Christ. They, they're following him about the closest people to him are people that should actually be children of God. People that have heard Jesus teaching all the, for all the time. And the people that should be learned in the word of God. And, you know, people that should know the right things to do. But they were the ones that, that, that rebuked her sharply, you know. And this, this has two lessons right now there are many lessons in the word of god you know it's new every day but right now i'm talking i'm going to talk about two things here these are people that we nowadays will call the ministers of god these are people who call oh um the senior um the men of god and people that are supposed to know the right things to do but they rebuked us sharply and why did they rebuke us sharply in my understanding from that story i don't think they knew any better they felt this is the right thing to do and this woman is doing the wrong thing the right thing to do would be to sell this oil and give it to the poor because that's their own understanding but we noticed that you know jesus christ was the one that answered them now that woman continued doing what she was doing you know i i wish a lot of us can be like that woman i'm also wishing i can be like that woman also even though i'm a minister of god also and i'm supposed to know better but I, I wish that, you know, I pray that I become like that woman, that no matter the noise around me, no matter the, the things happening around, we focus on God, on what God has told us to do, or what God has laid in our hearts to do. Other people may not understand. And that's what I understand from that, um, from that lesson, from that story of what happened to Jesus Christ. These people did not know because if they knew any better, they wouldn't have rebuked her even in the presence of Jesus. So I don't think they were doing, they, I don't think they knew what they were doing was wrong. They felt what they were doing was right. These are ministers, the people around Jesus Christ felt what they were doing was right. And they focused on that. But this woman just kept doing her own thing. 
and left Jesus Christ to answer them. And Jesus now said, what she's doing, you may not understand, but she's doing it for me. So who are we doing it for? And that's, you know, it talks to the leaders and it talks to us also. It talks to us leaders, it talks to us um, the, the lead that who are we doing this for? Is it for the kingdom of God? Is it for the purpose of Jesus? Or is it for Jesus Christ, for the purpose of the kingdom of God? If you are doing it, let the owner of the kingdom, let the king of the kingdom, let the one that we are doing it for answer on our behalf. He is the one that should understand. So let's focus on the one that knows the purpose of what we are doing. Let's ignore whatever is happening around. And let's not get, let anger or bitterness, um, you know, take us away from God because sometimes I know that when people that should know that you think should be the leaders when they do something wrong you want to you want to answer them or you feel bitter you feel angered you feel bad but don't don't okay that's what we should learn from that woman I'm also talking to myself here and you know I hope I will also learn from this and also um, what I, I, I can see here is that if we remain focused, look at what Jesus Christ said about that woman. He said, "What the, this is what she has been, like, this is what she has been prepared to do. And she's doing it for me. And this will be told to her as a memorial, memorial, um, memorial you know. Um, this will be told about her as a memorial wherever the gospel is preached. You know, if she had stopped what she was doing and she had answered them, most likely she would have actually um maybe christ may not have answered for her or you know or maybe her reward wouldn't have been you know so i i'm just saying that <laughs> i'm just saying that um if those of us that are led let's be focused on jesus christ and you know even us as leaders we may not understand some of these things or some things that people some people have been prepared to do um please let's just be spiritual in leading and also that you know we don't discourage people from fulfilling their purpose on earth and or we don't you know get people because the bible also says even though the bible says we should not allow our anger you know or the sun to go down on our anger it also says a war unto him through whom offenses are and um, offenses come so let's not bring that war onto us when we create offenses in people and also you know that God should help us to lead the led aright. Thank you so much for listening. It's um, it's Sunday, and I just feel this my this will be timely for someone. Don't be discouraged on when, what God has called you to do. It might be it might look trivial. It might look small. It might if people around you may not understand. Please just do it. Just do your own. Fulfill your own purpose because that's what God has prepared you to do. And other people may not understand. But as long as your primary focus is God, please just focus on God and let God answer on your behalf. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a lovely Sunday and have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Thank you. Bye.